Hello everyone. Uh, our team wrote this article to kind of break down why having a home gym is really, really, really convenient and maybe even should be essential for, for cops. I, I'm in my home gym right now. I, I built this a couple years ago and this has changed my life simply due to the fact that it is literally attached to my house. So I'm inside. I have everything I need in there. I have all my gym clothes. I have any of my supplements like I have access to water, all the things. The shower is super close by for afterwards. Um, it's just super convenient. It has saved me a ton of time. Like I don't need to commute to go to the gym and the closest gym to me is probably 15 or 20 minutes away, which I'm sure for some of you is, you know, it's further than that. So number one, the having a home gym saves you time, um, which is just, it's so critical, especially when you're a cop and you're working probably a lot of mandatory overtime or maybe you choose to work overtime um, core all of this stuff that makes you work well over 40 hours a week it's really important to to manage our time well um, so that we have time to do other things like hobbies spend time with our family all of that stuff so with that i think you know that's another point is that the fact that this is so close to my house i can spend more time with my family like if I don't have kids, but if, if I did, I would be happy to have them out here. Um, my kid is my dog. My dog gets to come out in the gym with me and, you know, I'm training, but I'm also spending quality time with, you know, my pup that's important to me um, and my family, you know, and even my friends, my neighbors and, and all that stuff. So that's another thing. And another important one that we think, where is my tourniquet? Right here. How awkward. I've heard this from many, many cops. I've been training you guys for, for five years. I've been training firefighters and uh, you know medics and all EMS for, for about 10 years now. Who wants to train any sort of tactical skill in a commercial gym? It can be awkward and uncomfortable, especially if you're in uniform, which we recommend training in uniform a lot. Um, if you come in in your, in your in kit, like people are gonna look at you like, what the hell's going on here? Um, if you're applying a tourniquet in between a set of kettlebell swings, I'm sure you'll get some weird looks. Um, if people aren't questioning what you're doing, they're probably staring at you, admiring what you're doing, um, which just takes takes away from you know your focus on your session and your focus on skill building um, and things like that. So the last one is uh, obviously your physical fitness. Um, it is a number one priority for cops. It has to be. We know that. That's why we preach. This is why our business exists here. Um, you have to train and it doesn't have to be an extravagant gym like mine. Like I have everything you could ever need to have a good workout. You don't need that. Minimal equipment is fine. You can start with just a set of kettlebells and, or just a set of dumbbells or just a sandbag. Um, you can train in your backyard, you can train in your front yard or in your driveway, whatever you prefer. But that is definitely considered a home gym. And I think well, like overall, it improves everything in your life. It's convenient, saves you a lot of time, allows you to spend more time with your family, friends, loved ones, um, and allows you to train like a cop. So home gym is definitely a requirement for the law enforcement professional. Go train.